we are going straight into the action here on Albion TV, our first match of the day. We're going to be following Eric Wer with his team of Bean, Goof, Watano and Carvin. And now these guys have been together from the June days. These guys were pre, you know, these, this is a Mercia, a Cumbria fighting. Yeah, these, yeah. This is a team that conquered Mercia. I an mean, old, like, an old yeah. world team, very, very successful. But, you know, they're not top of the food chain right now. There's multiple yeah. teams at the top level that can all win. You know, these guys are on tier three horses. That's that a really not... big change and we they... had with the Crystal Leagues is so many more teams that were never able to play against the top teams have now had that experience and have oh. now outplayed our old top teams. They've run into the very nasty uh, Irelia and Theus team, which is currently under the Blocko de Rua banner, but this is traditionally the Sex with X team. They were in Rang for a bit. I don't know who their actual affiliation is with nowadays. Each other. They're uh, affiliated with each this other. Team, this team has actually been running Nature for a long time. And I'm quite excited for them, honestly, because a lot of teams are still running the Flash Shield, despite the fact that the Flash Shield is going away very, very mm -hmm. soon. Uh, and then they're not, you know, they're not adjusting. They're trying their best just to just to cling to it as long as possible but the thing is is the off-season tournament will be post expansion which should mean there'll be no flash heal so people need to be either on a generous heal build or be looking at the nature that was a very nice assassination though bean found the opening to root in following up from the pierce sweeping bolt combo they're still very low though so the blocko boys could get a turnaround as nick getting huge value out of his bow trading but now he has to go back there's the swap there's the purifying smoke on top Great from Theus with the Ironclad. They don't actually want to give it up yet because it's a very quick respawn time. They're not even going to take this. Cap's not even going to rotate. And the momentum, I think, is still with Blocko because they're going to be five as soon as Rudin gets back into the fight. Carvin, look at Watano's energy. The purge play from Theus. Watano's energy is looking in a very dire situation. And Eric Wer's team, last one, just cannot continue this fight. So despite winning the engagement, they, they just don't have the value that this nature offers. And mm -hmm. I think Watano, he's got the uh, knockback from his Sacred Pulse. Aurelia getting drilled. The grave Guard comes down, but Goof going to get countered on from Nick. He's going to pop the Purging Shield. Evasive Jump comes out as well. Theus going to zone him, and that's actually the cap. And last one, the, the energy issues here. It's a Royal Cow build, right? He's got the yeah. Limhurst as well. Both of these are purgeable, though. And at the top level, at the top level, the tank is looking to both make plays, control the fight, and cancel out someone fully right you know, the, the, the purge plays are like the difference between the top players and the mid tier you'll see yeah. better cleanses better purges and a, like a quicker crust. response to a mistake really like when you purge the wrong person you're gonna see somebody go oh you have no purge available time to go into overdrive boys well frosts and uh and spammer jammers are very very vulnerable to purge mm -hmm. you know the bow the bow gets hurt by it as well but at least he still can do some stuff those two just drain their own mana very very quickly aurelia goes in early charge onto watano Celestial Sphere comes down for the reset. Both duties have been used, so this fight is going to get rowdy very, very quickly. Eric with control on Tay Apple. They turn on to Nick. Chain Slash goes out, but Graveguard sacrificed. The Purifying Smoke's going to miss, and Bean is getting drilled here. He's going to be forced back. There's the charge again. Goof really wants to find Nick. Switches to Hey Apple, but Watano, the healer of Last Warn, has been taken out. And the Blocko boys are going to surge forward. Carvinen's going to die. Goof is going to die if there's a charge available. He needs to time this right with his evasive jump. But no, Irelia gets stunned, but it's not going to be enough. And now Eric gets swapped himself out. The charge, not going to catch him. Nice play from Eric. Saved the Fiend's position swap. Waited for the Hurricane play. But that was that was really, really convincing from the Blocko team, wasn't it? Absolutely, yeah. These guys are really... Uh, I did not expect to see goof and eric being pushed down so hard like i said these are one of the old school best teams in the game and this has been a really rough first four minutes on the plus side watano dying does get his energy back but theus knows yeah. he could just bully out of him get, bully him out of the game with good purges here so they're actually going to give up the bottom cap they're not going to press the issue 95 to 145 make that 144 with the cap and now Eric Wern, the boy, is going to try and breach this high ground. But look how deep they're playing. If you want if you want to get up on this high ground, you're going to need to push up with your clothies. And Carvinen takes the challenge, finds some space. Stun comes out. There's the swap from Eric looking for a target. But Goof getting drilled. He's forced to use the purging shield already. Aurelia doesn't care, though. 
with help with the iron will skill from the sword and Carvin and Rudin trade in. There's the cartwheel interrupting the auto fire. Rudin goes down to half. More agonies coming. No, Beaned hesitates for a second just as well because Hey Apple was there with the save. Now Nick has to roll out. There's the chain slash with the stalkers on top. More agony. Go strike. Second go strike is going to finish the job as well. Nick will go down. But that doesn't mean it's over yet. There's the, the uh, Mortal Agony. Does it really have the charge? There's the healer kill. So what a trade. It's going to be two for one. But Blocko uh, still have a healer. But unfortunately, it's just sword tank healer. They can win the some value and they don't have to give up the cap provided they don't get dove too hard. Double go strike onto Aurelia, but the Iron Will keeping him alive this time. Purifying Smoke comes down. Hey Apple gets the Spiritual Seed and the backup is coming. And now Last Warn going to have to think about this because they don't have a healer right now. And Eric, Mortal Agony, there's the charge. Eric doesn't even get out of it. And Last Warn in big, big trouble. We'll jump over to Goof right now. Yep. Because I think he is still on the field. Still, yeah. Oh, my, uh, on a different keyboard. And <laughs> oh, the, the change I, I of just, finger. I just, yeah, yeah I just tried. I just tried a, uh, a stalk command in global. So ignore that in global chat, please. Rudin nearly goes Done. down. Goof with purging shield. Now Eric is coming back to the fight. So we could jump back on our main man, Eric. As he goes in with Fierce, Carvin and Driven out, though. Rude in finding a lot of space here and not really taking any pressure. Evasive jump from Goof, but the exploding shot. Nick Burr, there's one ghost strike. Mortal Agony, two ghost strikes. Poison comes out. Stalker jacket was needed to finish him. It's going to be a double onto Rude in, potentially. No bigs available, but the Mortal Agony, there's the chain slash. It's a double kill. And this match is heating up. It's back and forth. Apple is in a lot of trouble. The auto fire, one more hit. And Carvin is going to snipe him with the sweeping bolt. And that is a three for nothing trade love it in the meantime um there's some shenanigans going off with aurelia chasing bean around yep over here on the back side i don't i don't i don't feel good for aurelia really? here this doesn't oh unnecessary oh three kill Ooh. three kill oh nice. extra points they're good for you you need those Well, they're trying to give these guys as much of an opportunity to come back into this fight as they possibly can, as it is now 77 to 88, only 10 points away from a tie game. Bang, a seven and five in kills as well in favor of the last worn team. And this honestly could go either, either way. Um, right now, Watano has a full energy bar, so Theus isn't able to dominate. And last worn actually looking to play out into them. Don't know how I feel about this. It does let them wrap around and find that healer kill very easily can't he's actually playing very deep i like the structure they're playing here theus really can't overcommit. the dps certainly can't overcommit to watano aurelia using that stalker combined with the iron will very very nice skill they're purging smoke comes down carvin and takes an absolute beating watano interrupted oh my oh. days that is a full Bye, takedown watano. job and there is oh. no chance of the counter kill. The counter kill that kept them in it last time. Goof with the evasive jump. But they're going to want more here. Aurelia's got stacks. Theus is out front. Goof is going to die 100%. Uh, the others should be okay. There's the but charge. But while they were Goof. doing that chase, it got they got the 20 tick. So it's now 69 to 68. When they get that next cap in just a second, it's going to be 68, 68. And we're going to probably see a 66 to 68 in just a moment, as I believe they're going through all three. Uh, Goof hasn't even respawned yet, so this should be a they three. It should be. Why? They're, okay, there it is. Yeah, okay, yeah, they, they finally are. started they, going they for They can it. play like, into this. Very, yep. P play That's right good. into it. Goof is going to be behind. Jump Eric as soon as you can. Hit, get on top of it. Well, they've only, they've only got to play 20 seconds out in the open to secure a 20-point mm -hmm. rotation here. So they're going to play out. They might even choose to commit to it if the fight's going well. Eric's taking a beating, but really your tank absorbing damage is never a bad thing. Nick, there's the combo. Looking for the opening. The roll comes out. There, Aurelia's is out with the Stalker. Once again, Rudin just stuck. Can't really find an angle here. The charge goes out onto Bean. They're going to look for the turn onto the Death Givers. They know he didn't have Chain Slash. Not able to secure it, though. Both teams shaky right now, but there's the 20-point rotation. And right now, Blocko may choose to pull up the choke. Looks like Theus is guiding his team or trying to peel for his team. Rudin with the Scholar's Cow Shield. They look for the turnaround. Carvin and find space. Eric gets shredded. Aurelia, one hit, two hit with the Ghost Strike. Doesn't go down, and Theus zones out the rest of the DPS. They look to stabilize, but in the back line, it's a problem. Carvin has got the bomb, though. That's a lot of damage, but he disjoints it. Great iframe from him. Aurelia goes down, and this time it's the Blocko crew 
They're in trouble. The sword is gone. Hey, Apple's still able to stabilize. They want to get these caps quickly. And if they see two people ditching for the caps, they could go hard. Eric's not going to get this one. So it's going to be a minimum of a 10-point rotation if they interrupt the mid. Or if they kill Goof, they could win out, come out of this with the fight as well. Carvenon gets the cap. But it's still going to be a 10. They look for Watano. Watano's in a lot of trouble from that stun. This is a very scrappy fight from both sides. Aurelia is back in business. It's still a two cap. Hey, Apple, though, the healer from Blocko. Great play from Bean. Got in there aggressive. Rudin's now in big trouble. There's the dodge roll. Shouldn't be enough. Sweeping bolt's going to come from the high. Oh, the sweeping bolt. The energy shield was enough. So Bean has to go in there and finish the job. This is going to be going down to the wire. They're going to have to wait a long time for the respawns here. Eric's going to grab this one. They'll grab top. That will give them the 20-point rotation, and it's going to be 33 to 36. This is a crazy, crazy match. It might not even be Blocko on point quick enough. It's definitely going to be a three cap. Are they going to turn it into a hold? 10 seconds. No, it is Blocko a little bit slow with the slower respawns. They're going to be waiting a while for their full five. And they may choose to push this choke. Here we go. There's five of them now. They're going to lose 20. So it's going to go 36 to 33 right now. And looks like they're going to go into this second choke and try and shut them off from retreating up to the high ground. Nick, inside the Fatal Blade. Corp, they're not going to be able to finish the job here. Carvin and they swap him back. Purging Shield goes out. Nice interrupt on Rudin. Trying not to let him get the DPS smoke out onto Nick as well. They are not allowing Nick to play his game right now. There's one Ghost Strike. Stalker, Poison goes out. No chance to finish, though. The resistance is from the breeze. Now, Carvenon taking a beating. Sacrifice may have to be used on Nick if it hasn't already been. And Goof is going to oh. kill Rudin in the meantime. And Fiend is going to kill Nick. And this match has fallen apart. And this is going to be a win right now to last one. This that match is. is done and dusted. They're going to grab a 20 point on this rotation. And then it's going to be a simple two cap. One kill here will actually secure it pretty much. Because of the respawn timers, mm -hmm. they're not quite they're not able to time. find Hey Apple. But we are. Oh, Bean goes into the tent. Does die, doesn't die, doesn't die. Go strikes out. And he's going to survive. Even that would have just been a bit of a consolation kill. It wouldn't have been enough to finish the match. And what a back and forth match to open up the show tonight. Yeah, that was a great Absolutely match. Absolutely fantastic. I, I don't think they're going to have a chance here of coming back in this one with so little time and having to get two caps in order to take it. It even looks like they're staying place up there on the top. So why don't we go ahead over to Momono, who's in the midst of a comeback of his own as he currently has 30 points, two caps versus 59, and they've whittled it down from what I've seen, at least 90 points. So they've been working on this one for a while now. Okay, let's go over to the Crystal Realm here then. And it's Momono versus Dexu. We've got uh, Latera, Mini Golf, Elevate, ANCQ, and more Latera. It's a bit of a Merc job going on for some of these guys. The BBCs, the new, the new Elevate Alliance, it looks like. Dungeon Realms, ANCQ. A lot of familiar names on there. Meme mm -hmm. is going to get taken out though. Nice assassinate there. Momono is very low on energy. We know Momono does like to play these greedy builds as well. He does like to play the stunning strike passive, meaning his energy only comes from his Limhurst. And it's a good build, and the aggressor, the aggression often pays off and secures the kills. But we do know if a fight drags out, they really start to struggle with a tank that can't use all his abilities. Now it's a fast rotation for three of them, but Elevator having none of this, are they? No, they're good at this. They, this is one of the more skilled teams we have. I actually was surprised to see them down by so many points when I hopped in on them. And uh, I expect a comeback here, honestly. 9-9. Nine, nine. We've had quite a match here. Uh, Absolve is choosing to join the fight. He's a tank, so he doesn't really have any options. So no back cap shenanigans. They are just going to have to win a straight-up fight. Dexu super early with the purging shield. Not sure that was the right play. He got absolutely no value out of that. Uh, Aram's going to pop his now. ANCQ goes in. Sweeping Bolt. It's actually double heavy crossbows is the combo. So if they're looking, they're looking to absolutely delete someone with this. I don't know if this is their full build or they've just chosen this. And I'm liking this as well. A lot of the Scholar's Cows are being played on the crossbows, which has two advantages, really. One, mm -hmm. your energy management isn't a problem. 
So you don't need to worry about the energetic passive. You could just go full green on well prepared for more Q spam. Uh, and two, the physical damage resistance is quite large, particularly on the energy shield from Scholar's Cow. And that helps with death givers trying to zone you out. Unfortunately for Meme, it's not going to help him as he goes down regardless. Dexu pops his energy shield, does get bopped back in. Mono looking for more. He's got position. And I think Absolve might die here if he's got the Hurricane ready. Oh, is he running? Is it the quarterstaff? Sorry. He's run, no, he's running the Ironclad. And there's the victory on rotation. 10-9. Very match, close yeah. in kills, Yeah, very actually. close match. Great comeback uh, by the guys from Elevator. Bunny team died four times as well. So Ooh. luckily luckily for them, he still had gear. I don't think he could have died again, though. Well, I'm currently trying to find a match that's still going on as four matches all just died at once. Uh, not died, all ended at once here in the final rotation here. Let me see if I can't get us one more to go watch. It's not the one. Well, we got 14 minutes till the uh, the next match. Yeah, these is... went, you know, they went pretty good. 15 enough, minutes. Is... Enough time to grab a coffee, thankfully. Actually, we have a few moments left of Catarat here okay, in a level two. In. Let me give you the, the name here in chat. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, As it looks like yet yeah, another comeback in the works, 19 to 52. Let me get you a tank here. What is it? Is that Corpsey? Thank you, Vogel. I was struggling to get into the right... Uh... Struggling to get into the right room there. So Blue Army Freeman in a 900. This is a level two, I believe. I'm seeing 900 IP, but I'm seeing corpses mm -hmm. on the floor. Yeah, this is level two. Okay. Uh, it's, it's what we've got Infernal, left. Infernal, Infernal Crossbow, Spammer Jammer Redemption as well. Um, again, especially at low levels, I really don't like seeing the Spammer Jammer. Like, mm. at all get better at what you need to get better at for the next patch is what you're saying yeah. practice now before it goes away yeah i mean it, it it makes no sense to me at pretty much the end of the season okay i understand if you're if you're competing for the top end and for the big points for the qualification right you're going to use it the whole way use every advantage that you can but, get but now if you're if you're in if you're at learning level because nobody mm -hmm. worrying about leveling a tower now in level two no so if you're in learning tr there's no point learning to play or play with something that isn't going to be there in two weeks' time. In a week's time. Even less, yeah, in just on a Wednesday, week's time. Yeah. On Wednesday, it's not going to be there. Flash Hill will be gone. So it's it's going to be a different world. Well, maybe there. they haven't leveled up their nature appropriately yet, and they're just working on it. They're looking I mean, forward. you you can still use variations of the Generous Hill build. Um, maybe, I mean, maybe Holy Shard, as I affectionately oh. call it, won't be... Hypno complete now. won't be a complete disaster. Infernal onto that nature. That infernal staff, by the way. This it this old style druid infernal staff does still mm -hmm. absolutely honk. It's it's actually quite decent. Um, the problem is it has not as much utility, not as much extreme burst as some of the others. But I do think I do think firewall is still one of the best skills in the game. Like everyone was playing fire artillery for a while and then people realized how easily fire artillery could be reflected. So firewall though is just, is so good. Especially if something like triple frontline comes back in. Firewall's insane. But right now the mixed team uh, of various guilds seem to be struggling to get this over the line. They do have a two cap and actually Blue Army Freeman, relevant mixed team. Hasn't been able to grab this mid cap despite getting a few kills. And Katarat is actually going to go down. We'll go on to Corpsey if you're not already. Yeah, we're already so over that's here. A, that's, a, that's a name that's been around. Yeah, he's he's an old school player. When I saw him on the field, I was like, wait, I know this guy. That's It's good to see players back and competing, even if it's at level two. I mean, about Feeder, we know him as well. I mean, there's a couple of big names here in this match facing off a against each other yeah, I, think, I mean about, old, feed, about feeder is not generally a healer player though okay. so i feel i feel that he's trying to learn healer and of course he's learning mm -hmm. nature he's learning nature. nature that's what he should be doing at this point in the season like you said i mean do, do you agree do you agree it'd be there it makes no yeah, sense oh, absolutely. No, 100 percent. 100 percent. the only way you should be using that right now is if you're in the highest level in min maxing and trying to get the very best available heal currently this is over by the way one more kill 
One more kill and it's over. Oh, they actually lost the cap as well. So down for the king, Jandis and his but boys. But either team can win this in the, with one more kill. You know, it's up no. for it. There, there it is. There it is. The, yeah, the reds had nothing left in the tank. 11-7 then. And that was our matches for this That's about lovely uh, boys go time down. Yeah. But we do have more, guys. Fairly consistent for quite a while. Um, I think Boda has his level 9 token. I don't know. I think they have to win tomorrow for Boda to be in level 9. I think Derek said he was the one that wasn't, and it's going to be the Yar Good Unusual team. Ooh, the Black Order, good. the Black Order Russian guys. Yeah. Who we've seen cause a lot of problems, and actually the last season, aka these boys, Merking, they actually went for an unorthodox strategy of go for the bot cap. And so now there isn't a top cap because of Kargera's aggression. And they mm -hmm. have the cap advantage, which means they can play a lot slower, a lot safer. But double crossbows oh, is having unusual. a word with Kargera. Oh. Unusual gets deleted. This double crossbow. I've seen this twice today. Is this is this now a thing? Yeah, good. So it's going to be going it. to one crossbow if Skuzzkabel can find an angle. Not quite. That uh, looks like Tyke might not be long for this earth, though, with no eye frame. More Lagany Boda's going to finish him with the ghost strike. So it's two clean kills. And of course, that ex that I definitely think that that first cap threw the whole game out of whack because Black Order were like, "Yay, we've got the high ground," and then realized it didn't mean anything because they've been capped on. And now it's a three, and we know we know what Kargara and the boys are like with aggression. Double crossbows, though, you can't really overextend into it. Unusual can really punish people with this pole hammer. I'd be interested to see what build he's playing, but I personally, I'm a big fan of the pole hammer. But I still consider the Earth Splitter ability very, very janky. It just doesn't it doesn't feel like a clean ability to use like something else. Like, you know, Hurricane feels fairly clean by comparison. Kargera getting drilled by these double crossbows. Actually doesn't pop his duty though, just holds his ground. Decides not to burst those defensives. So it's a defensive advantage right now to Derek and the gang. As the daggers go in, they're stacking up quite badly though. Yeah, good. Getting some good collateral for that. Kargera now does pop his force field. Down come the hills. Tyke, Pierce, Pierce, go strike. Not enough to finish him. Ryudo pops the robe of purity. Kargera has to go back. He's pierced. Oh, that's a good earth shot. And Kargera was stunned for ages there. I need to take a look. I want to see if uh, if Unusual is doing the thing. Is he going full skill ceiling and playing dread laden fight? Is, is Zal going to go down here? I I blinked away on Scars, Kargera before I... Scars is okay. And he's going to be okay. So it's going to be a, it's a robe of purity. Uh, not even CC duration on the Judy armor. He's running Judy boots with toughness as well. So he's gone full toughness with the pole hammer. And he's not running dread laden. He's playing the energy recovery as well as the Limhurst. Yargood in a lot of trouble. Kargera's back in the fight. So we're back on Kargera. Yargood's going to get taken down. And Kargera and the gang just going to boss this one from start to finish. Kargera did die, and they still, without their tank, without their mm -hmm. main man, they just held on. And yeah, they just pushed just through it. That's where murder everyone anyway. I, I thought they it were going to take Pierce. Val out earlier. Honestly, they had so low, but Unusual is done. Yeah, they catch the tank out again. That's another death for him. So it's one four six to eighty one. But the Black Order have not touched a cap yet. They have not touched a single cap point in this fight. And. You can't I like the pole the hammer caps. build, yeah. I just think energetics are really, really weird one to pick when you do have the Limhurst. The pole hammer is such a slow weapon as well. Mm -hmm. Like energetic really doesn't give you as much benefit on a slow swinging weapon. So for the first time, four minutes into this match, Black Order have a cap, but they do have the low ground in order to breach. Zalbane comes up, first one hits, there's the stun. Nice chain slash, Boda gets three, gets all the way down, in comes the leap onto their Mortal Agony, Ghost Strike times one, Celestial Sphere coming down from the back from Ryudo. Down goes the Energy Shield, but Black Order looking shaky, trying to get up this choke. Scuzz, he's charged up with a quiver, looking for something, there's a nice hit onto him. Shekri soon recovers, gets knocked up by the guys. A good play with this pole hammer. An orthodox choice is paying off for unusually. He's getting good value out of it. Go strike again onto Kargera. The tank soaking up so much damage. As Derek auto fire, nice collateral into the corner. Black Order being driven down. Comes a celestial sphere from both sides. Very low on defenses now as both look for the kill opening. 
Ryudo pops the purity. It's going to be yeah, good. Surely one more. No, there comes the heal. Ryudo gets the save. The more likely they look for the turn onto Kargera. Kargera gets driven up. Now, Boda is alone in no man's land, but he's so hard to catch on these death givers. He pops a resistance. He had a chain slash, and here comes the hurricane. Now, yeah, good. It's in a horrible position to be a man holding a crypt candle. Chain slash through the whole team. More no, like it is to trade. Yeah, trade good goes, but Derek. they trade onto Derek, but this is still the pressure in favor of Kargera's team. Ryudo pops another purity. They're trying to get Scuzz, but Shekri is all charged up with this Druid robe. And now Tyke is forced out there. The Pierce goes on to Scuzz, but down comes the Purging Shield. Tyke pops the resistance from the Martlock K, but is he going to be okay? They look to stabilize. Celestial Sphere could come down. There's a swap, and it's going to be okay. Kargera might look for the kidnap. In the meantime, it's five versus four. Derek is not back in this match just yet. There goes the bomb onto Scuzz. Save from Shekri. Derek on the high ground. Ryudo pops the purity now. Scuzz is getting zoned out. Has to use the dodge to get out of there. They lock Yargood into the corner. The auto fire comes out. They sweep him bolt. He's back in the corner. He gets swapped. He gets bopped. Now Kargera's in a bit of trouble. He needs to get up there. But Shekri playing the wall nicely. Actually does get stunned in an awkward position. And down comes the Celestial Sphere. They might not use the Judy to stabilize. They should be fine anyway. And the fight continues. Two caps to one in favor of Kargera, and it's the kidnap play onto Zalbang. He's actually going to get out of there just about with his life. Had to commit his blink. Tries to go back in with the Assassin's Leap, but nothing there. Deadly Swipe is not a very long-range ability, so it's quite hard to use it as one. Now Derek's getting caught in the corner of the auto-fire. Does pop his defensives, gets the Scholar's Cowl off to turn onto Tyke, and there's Boda, oh, was nice ready turn. to pounce. They thought they could get Derek. He survived <laughs> thanks to the resistances of the Energy Shield and the turnaround. The turnaround was beautiful. Yeah, good there. is going to get caught here. Is there going to be a... Uh, yeah, I think Kargera is just placing him in, so... Yep. Yeah. Mortal Agony no problem at all. Finishes him Zalberg off is going to be... Oh, nice! Nicely done with Ghost Zalberg. Strike. Really yeah, good use of the Ghost yeah. Strike to maneuver himself out of there. Death Givers are just so hard to catch, honestly. They're... They have such a great window of invulnerability on them. It's very, well, they've got the, Yeah, they've got the Chain Slash iframe. They've got the Ghost Strike invisibility. They're also running resistances a lot of the time. Mm -hmm. And many of them are playing Plate, which means it's not really... Like, a lot of times, you're actually better targeting the tank. Because at least if you catch a tank, he's not going to suddenly go invisible. Wow, uncharacteristic. I really thought they'd just try and squeeze them out and finish this in one rotation. But Black Order were very quick to the top and grab this one. Um, and they're going to... Oh, they go for the kidnap onto Ryudo. Unusual's coming in. Stun onto Derek. Derek will be fine, though. Can they grab the cap? And actually... So they're going to grab this cap. And Kargera, Boda, and Shekri with Derek behind. They're just going to play into them. They're going to play four versus five. And they don't care if they die. Like, like right now, the death wouldn't even matter. As long as one person keeps interrupting. Oh, are they? No, they, Kargera's not going to let this slide. No way. They're going to stop him. Good use of that hurricane. Kargera can't get to where he wanted to be. But they used every skill on the tank there for the control. Sacred Pulse actually knocks Boda away. So it's only going to be a 10-point rotation. One death will end this. And Ryudo, Derek's just going for the healer right now. Ryudo desperately trying to keep himself alive. Derek pops the Scholars. Unusual trying to peel with the swap in the meantime. So much time spent healing himself. Yeah, good got himself into a situation. Celestial Sphere, both Judy Bubbles going to be used. Bob comes down. Now oh, yeah, good. There's the pierce. There's the kill. And this one is all over Chosen. A... Pretty that was convincing job. Derek's going to go down, win, but Ryudo yeah. is going to drop. And that's the end of that. We need another... A pollinator for now, as it's a match that's going. I'm trying to find a, a match that's going to be anything competitive. But right now, everything seems to be a stop. We only have four matches still on the board. Another another Blocko team versus another Black Order team. I like this. I like this. The amount of teams that are suddenly in new guilds at the end of the season never fails to amuse me. But Yuraz is going to die. And Black Order, this could be the signal for the comeback as a pollinator. They are. They're continuing the fight with no healer. And they, they are in an absolute scrap right now. Scoliosis is going to die to Hunts. Hits him with the Claymore. There's the finish. They actually do get Thorius as the kill. But Suriel is dead as well surely surely there it is and alives is gonna die as soon as the claymore charge comes up as he did go for the taunt didn't actually get it nice from a pollinator 
Hunt is still looking for his... Oh, my days. He got him from about a screen away. Slid on in there. Got the kill. And every kill is a longer respawn time. They actually grab themselves an extra rotation just by throwing themselves at that fight. But it might end up costing them a pollinator tries to get out of there. There's... Oh, wow. Splitting Slash. And it's double... Double Claymores from Blocko. This is a dirty double claymore, triple frontline composition. And it's it's one of those ones that doesn't seem that good until they get the perfect sync and they just slap mm -hmm. someone into oblivion. Yurez really needs to be on point with his saves. And that's if he's not getting drilled. Splitting Slash as well, instead of Iron Will. Uh, I really like this. Again, you know, if there's not the one-handed crossbow, you're not worried about the parry for the, the iframe. Uh, if there's not too much purging, you can get away without Iron Will. And Spring Slash actually, on top of being a root, does a lot of damage. Tygen, he's got max stacks. Apollinator looking for it. St. RJ looking to build his stacks as well, but Tygen just can't go in. Down comes the seed. Suriel now caught. He's got that Death Givers with the Grave Guard Taunt. There's one charge from the Claymore. They look for the second. Good Chain Slash. Thorius though blocks the Ghost Strike. Great timing from him, but everybody has curse stacks right now. Mm -hmm. Everybody is cursed to the max on the Blocko team, and they're just going to have to kite it back. Down comes the Breeze. That's going to be the call for the turnaround. There's one charge onto Yuraz. He pops the resist. He was anticipating the second charge, but it never came in the end. Saint was holding on to it. Nice armor pierce into chain slash go strike. Gonna take it that was beautiful onto the whole team. The synergy there from Black Order was well lovely, done. but the double charge is ready to go, and a pollinator may have overextended his stay here. He's okay. Splitting Slash is going to whiff. No, he's going to get saved and be okay. I thought they might look for the turnaround, but he didn't quite read it in time. But and Lee now Lee, is going to be in trouble. Yeah, I think Lee's, Lee's in an awful spot. He does get the seed off on himself. Okay, they look to peel for him, Tyke, and he gets the roll. He's going to be okay. A pollinator needs to be careful, but he got the save out in the duty bubble before. But actually, Lee was able to kite himself back here and Blocko, they grabbed a rotation or two off of this, but I think it's going to be too little too late mm -hmm. now. They're going to get... Yeah, they're going to get... They're going to get three capped and this is going to put them... Oh, this is this is a horrible one. It's going to put them dead on two. 20 into the three cap rotation, which is going to end the match. Like, it's just No, they'll, they'll, be, they'll have one point. No, they won't. Oh, sorry. No, the mid cap. Yeah, the mid cap had already gone. They get, so they get one. So they go to one. They get one point. My mm -hmm. bad. And, and the other comeback that I had ooh, working okay. on the other side just flipped as well. And weird from that one over. there. There was no need to grab, interrupt that cap. You win on the two anyway. Slight overextension, but he's going to be okay now. It looks like they're all on nature, which I'd like to see for sure. Uh, right now, Blocko just swinging. And the double claymores, as fun as it is to watch, wasn't able to get the job done. Lee zoned out, and there's the kill. On to Hunts from Suriel. And this one is over.